An investment banker named Oliver Grace co-founded the Cancer Research Institute with his longtime friend, Helen Coley Knotts. Mr. Grace was the beloved man of great generosity and of great vision, whose contributions to the Cancer Research Institute have set a high bar for those who have since followed in his footsteps. In memory of its late founding chairman, CRI bestows upon today's most dedicated champions in the fight against cancer the Oliver R. Grace Award for distinguished service in advancing cancer research, keeping Mr. Grace's vision alive with this special honor. This year's Grace Award goes to two outstanding individuals. Presenting the first award is Paul Secri. Mr. Secri is a member of the CRI Board of Trustees and a co-chair of tonight's dinner. So if you're happy, and you know it, shake Mr. Secri's hand. He is also, in addition to all those incredible, incredible notches on his resume, he's also uh, an operating partner and head of the Biotech Ops Group at TPG Biotechnology, the life sciences arm of TPG Capital. That just sounds so fancy, whatever it is. It's just, it's, you're, you're like such a fancy guy. It's amazing. His extensive experience with success in the pharmaceutical industry in executive management, in business development, in product commercialization, licensing, capital investment, and strategy makes him not only an ideal person to present the Grace Award to our next recipients, but a super swanky guy to have at parties. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Secretary, come on up here. It's really an honor for me to present <coughs> this year's Grace Award to Dr. Severin Schwann. Dr. Schwann is Chief Executive Officer of the Roche Group, one of the world's leading healthcare and pharmaceutical companies. Tonight, we honor him for Roche's dedication to developing a personalized healthcare strategy for cancer patients and for its focus on developing new cancer medicines, including immune-based cancer therapies. Cancers can arise, as you know, from any cell within the human body, leading to the more than 200 types of cancers that are known. Even among patients with the same type of cancer, we now know that no two cancers are exactly alike. Treatments for that, that work for one group of patients may not work for others. This diversity among ca similar cancers has proved challenging for oncologists and for companies trying to create effective cancer medicines. Roche has embarked on a mission to develop therapeutic approaches that take into account each patient's unique disease. Their pioneering work in identifying distinctive differences among cancer types and to understand how these differences affect a patient's prognosis is helping physicians to create personalized treat treatment regimens that are more likely to help their cancer patients. Roche has also demonstrated a commitment to immune-based cancer treatments and is a leader in bringing these treatments to cancer patients. Roche's chief successes have been in the use of monoclonal antibodies. These include Herceptin for the treatment of breast cancer, Avastin for advanced colorectal, lung, and renal cancers, and Mabthera for lymphoma. Roche is also pioneering a new class of monoclonal antibodies that are effective at recruiting immune cells to attack tumors. These antibodies are currently in development at Roche for the treatment of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, lung, colon, and head and neck cancers. Finally, Roche is also driving development of innovative therapies that combine antibodies with targeted therapies, such as the targeted BRAF inhibitor Zelbaraf with anti-CTL4, CTLA4 antibody, ipilimumab, which is now in early phase clinical trials. In honor of his leadership at the Roche Group and in celebration of the company's many contributions to cancer immunotherapy research and development, the Cancer Research Institute proudly bestows upon Dr. Schwann the 2012 Oliver R. Grace Award. I'm sorry to say that unfortunately Dr. Schwann couldn't be with us tonight, but accepting the word on his behalf is Dr. Mike Burgess. Uh, Mike is head of the Roche Pharma Research and Early Development and a member of the Roche Corporate Executive Committee. Dr. Burtis. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry that Severin can't be with us. He's uh, got uh, bus business elsewhere. Uh, but I differ from Severin in a number of respects, but one most immediate respect is I don't speak German. My, word of, my only word of German is Danke, which seems appropriate this evening. <laughs> Roche is really committed to the advancement of uh, the care of the cancer patient, and that's been evident with the success that, that we've had over the last several decades. 
Beyond this, we're also dedicated to the, the concept of personalized medicine. And tonight we've heard how understanding the patient is really important. And within Roche Pharma research and early development, that plays out in our mantra, which is by understanding the patient and their cancer, you can affect cure. And it really highlights the importance of understanding what the constituents of the patient are that give rise to either the generation of the cancer or to its treatment. And by combining this with an understanding of how you modulate the disease, the cancer cell leads to the ultimate goal of curing cancer. This is borne out in some of the treatments that are coming through the clinic at the minute. And Paul highlighted the combination of Zelbaraf, which is the targeted agent targeting V600E mutant cancer, together with epilumumab. It's in doing this that you can allow the patient to buy time so that they may respond using immunotherapies. It really is clear that we have to understand the nature of the immune system, the nature of the microenvironment of the tumor, and the nature of the cancer cell if we're to be successful. And Roche has embarked on a long, long history of doing this, and our research is dedicated towards this goal. So hopefully in the future we will be able to work with a number of you bringing what are really what I would describe as freaky medicines to the clinic with the hope that we can offer a cure of the future. Thank you very much for the award, which I accept on behalf of Roche. It is now my pleasure to introduce our next Grace Award presenter, Donald J. Gogel. Don, can I? I can call you Don? We go back. Yeah, okay. I don't know. These things are awkward. I've known you for like four seconds now, so I feel like Don is okay. Don is chairman and CEO of the private equity firm Clayton, Dublier and Rice. He's a longtime trustee of the CRI, having served multiple terms as board chairman and currently as a vice chairman. He's been a major force in the growing strength of the CRI board of trustees. In recognition of his outstanding commitment to the Cancer Research Institute in 1999, CRI honored him with the Oliver R. Grace Award. So you ladies might get this. You know how you go on a blind date with someone when you're like in high school or college and you come back and your girlfriend calls you and you're like, how was it? And you're like, you know, he was nice. That means I'm never gonna call him, ever. But when I brought Don, no, we're going someplace with this. When I brought Don's name up at my table, Carlos said, this is the nicest guy you will ever meet. And I was like, oh, so I'm not gonna call him again on a date? What, I don't, as a woman, I don't understand what you're saying. No, literally the nicest guy you will ever meet so smart, so nice, so great. So uh, that being said, I hope it's okay that we uh, welcome up here the nicest guy uh, in the room tonight, Don Gogel. Thank you, Jenna, I think. <laughs> On uh, behalf of CRI and everyone in this room, before I give Mark Frazor his award, I'd like to thank Jenna if ever there was an MC and a news correspondent that was a killer T cell, <laughs> I think it's Jenna. So thank you very much. We definitely like to have you back next year, but you may have to modify this pizza is my enemy thing. Right? <laughs> There's some concern in the audience about that. Uh, on to serious uh, business. I'm delighted to present the Grace Award tonight to Mark Frisora. Mark is not only a friend, but he is also chairman and CEO of Hertz Global Holdings, an international leader in car equipment, car rental and, and equipment rental, a position to which he was appointed in 2006. Prior to joining Hertz, Mark led a $6.2 billion company, Teneco, which is in the field of automotive emission control and ride control products. Tonight, we honor Mark and Hertz for his leadership in demonstrating a longstanding commitment in giving back to the communities, which are many that Hertz participates in. Hertz today has 8,700 car rental locations. Each around the world, and Hertz is a significant contributor to a number of charitable organizations around the world. They include Make-A-Wish Foundation, which you know is a charity that grants wishes to children with life-threatening illnesses, including cancer. 
Hertz is a supporter of the Corporate Angel Network, which provides free air travel to cancer patients to help them get the best cancer treatment anywhere. And of course, the Cancer Research Institute. Since 2007, Hertz has been a big contributor to CRI, helping us advance laboratory and clinical research to harness the power of our immune system to conquer cancer. Hertz's sustaining support of our programs exemplify its dedication to supporting a very high caliber of science that you have seen demonstrated this evening by a number of our scientific award winners. Support for CRI is emblematic of the strong community-minded and compassionate culture that Mark and his senior leadership team have nurtured among all the employees of Hertz around the world. 1.6 million Americans are living with cancer right now, and more than half a million will die this year alone. Hertz's philanthropic programs not only help cancer patients in need of services, but through supporting CRI and our innovative programs. Hertz is helping to bring down the number of cancer deaths through the development of improved cancer treatments. In honor of his leadership at Hertz, the Cancer Research Institute proudly gives the 2012 Oliver R. Grace Award to Mark Frisora. Mark. So thank you, Don, and on behalf of my 33,000 Colleagues at Hertz Worldwide, I'm very pleased to accept the Oliver Grace Distinguished Service Award for you, for all of us this evening, and from you, Don. Um, as CEO of Clayton, Dublé, and Rice, Don leads a firm known for promoting operational excellence as well as improving the financial performance of its portfolio companies, including Hertz. CDNR stands apart from its competitors because of their operational focus, which in 2008 and 2009 helped Hertz weather the worst recession in our 94-year history and to create tremendous shareholder value and many thousands of jobs over the past several year, years. Given the focus of the company he runs, it's not surprising that Don would be so closely associated with Cancer Research Institute, which wins award after award for being one of the top philanthropic organizations in the world. Jill and her team's focus on efficiency and return on investment are two key reasons we are proud to be associated with the Institute. The money they raise funds some of the most important research in the world, and that research is helping us make real progress in the war on cancer. At some point, cancer will touch the lives of all of us at Hertz and all of our customers, and CRI is the one organization focused exclusively on advancing immunology to conquer cancer. CRI has some of the world's finest minds figuring out how to beat the most deadly forms of cancer, and CRI is also funding the next generation of cancer research scientists and doctors who will build on the research of tonight's award recipients. Most importantly, everyone at CRI knows that no matter how far we've come, there's always more to be done. This is a spirit of continuous improvement all of us at Hertz can relate to. We are proud to be associated with CRI and to be honored for supporting your fine work. And I'm humbled being here tonight with so many talented and committed doctors and scientists. All of us at Hertz congratulate tonight's award recipients and CRI for the important, difficult work you are doing. You're giving hopes to thousands of people and paving the way for the next breakthroughs in the fight against cancer. Thank you very much. And now I turn it back over to Jenna. Congratulations. Um, Look what you forgot. Hey, you forgot your award. You forgot your award. What's up? Closest I'm going to get to winning a science award. <clears throat> big, big, hearty, heartfelt, bicep fueled congratulations to all of our winners tonight. Um, I hope you leave here this evening a little smarter than you were when uh, you got here, not me, but you guys for sure. We learned a lot about CTLA-4, the sexy antibody and immunotherapy and the great work that you guys are doing to um, uh, advance uh, treatments in, in cancer and 
let's face it, you guys know what you're doing. I just know that at the end of the day, like I said before, when you sum it all up, the closer we are to curing this, the better we all are. And if it wasn't, and if it's not for people like you, um, we, we don't take those steps. Before we end, though, I would like to say a few word of thanks in all seriousness uh, to this evening's co-chairs, John, Don, Paul, and Mike, for their hard work, and also their one-syllabled names that made it a lot easier for me to remember. <laughs> Other people as well to thank Mitchell Gold, Hylevitsky, and Paul Shivrick. Please give them a big round of applause for tonight. I would also like to thank the CRI staff for their hard work, not only in putting together all the right elements to make tonight so special, also for the work they do year-round to keep this organization running so efficiently. Lest we forget for bringing in an MC who got a B-plus in chemistry and then did nothing with her degree in science whatsoever. That's me. Uh, I'd also like to especially thank the Institute's CEO and Director of Scientific Affairs, Dr. Jill O'Donnell Tormey, for her expert direction and dedicated her dedication to the Institute's work. And finally, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, Scientific Advisory Council staff, and funded scientists of the Cancer Research Institute, I thank you all for joining us tonight, for helping us all make this evening so very successful. I hope you are all as inspired as I was. First thing tomorrow, I'm retaking the science portion of my SATs. Who's coming with me? You guys have been an amazing audience. Thank you so very much. Have a great evening. We'll see you next year.